Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we're going to make a simple pair of earrings using my uh, walk on the beach strand that I got in my Jesse James Beads uh, December Design Ambassador Kit. We're only going to need a little bit of these beads, but it's still going to be really pretty. So let's turn down and we'll get to work on that and I hope you like them. So what we're going to need, besides our bead strand, isn't this pretty? This one is, as I said, Walk on the Beach from my Jesse James Beads December Design Ambassador Kit. And we're only going to take the beads from here to here and the same on the other side. So the rest are going to be extra. What we're also going to need is some chain. I've brought some uh, antique copper chain, some ear wires, a couple of uh, oval jump rings, and some copper wire. Now, I would have preferred to use some antique copper, but I, the only antique copper I have is in a smaller gauge, and I wanted something a little heavier than that. So we're going to go with the regular copper. Okay, so the first thing, of course, we're going to want to do is to break open this strand of beads. So let's just trim this off right here. And I have got a little dish to put the extras in. And these are the beads we want. At one point I was thinking of adding this one here to the end, but then, oh, I still might. That's not bad. Let's see what it looks like when we put the other one beside it over here. I actually sort of like that. I will need to get a couple of little bead caps. So I'll sit. And then this one. Now, normally I would have put the um, title of the bead strand in with it, cut it off its paper and put it in here, but there wasn't one on this one. So we will just write on the little lid that this is Walk on the Beach. And then we can put those away. But here's what we're going to do with these. We're gonna, it's going to sit like this. Oh, come on, baby. Bending upwards and have a little. So we can leave these off if we wish to, if we decide that that one would be too, too much. And just go like this. And actually, I think we will just do that. We don't want them to be extra big. So we'll leave them how I originally designed them. Let's put these beads away. So what we need is a couple of little pieces of wire to make a little bridge for these beads to sit on with some loops on either side. So we don't need much. Probably only a couple of well, probably only about an inch and a half for each one, but we will cut a little extra off just to make sure we have enough. Because, of course, we're going to have to trim off the any the bad spots in the wire, which usually there are some. I cut these flush, so the side should be fine. But just to be on the safe side, this one is not. It's got a, it's got one of those sharp edges on it. So we'll cut a little off here. Check this side. It looks good. This one could use a little trimming. And so can this one. So. The first step is to decide how big 
of a loop we want on either side of our wire. So we'll get out our stepped bell making pliers and we'll decide that. Okay, so what we're going to do is to take this, we're going to turn it so the bigger side is over here, and we're going to wrap to this to the back. Then we're going to turn it so it's right there at the groove and pull it back to wrap it to the front. To make this pattern here, we're going to take our pliers and we're going to close this loop up because it wanted to be up open some. So there we go, we've got it closed. So isn't that pretty? So now we're going to give this a little thump to make sure it's to get it to uh, work hard in just a hair's breadth. Okay. So then we want to put our beads on. Let's start with this black one. It's cap. This little spacer. The creamy colored one. The other spacer. The cap. And the black one again. And now we have to turn the other side. We only need about three quarters of an inch on this side over here, so we need to cut a little bit of it off. So let's get our and we'll cut off. Ooh, about this much. So now that we have that cut off, we want to take our large side and move it to roll it to the back. Bring it up here and then roll it back to the front. Now that we have that done, we need to tighten this up just to air spread. And there we have, whoop, it came out. I wonder it felt a little tight. We came out of our thing here. Well, we'll just fix that. Now we need to make the decision if we want this more bent, which I do. I want it to be in a little sort of U shape, like this. Get them sort of even to each other. Then we're going to work hard on the ends just a little bit again. And to do that, just hold it over the edge of your block, like so. And carefully tap on it without hitting that bead that's at the end. Okay. Now that we have that done, we need to decide how long we want each earring to be. And that's what what is now we have to figure out with the chain. Because it's going to come up both sides like so. And then it's going to hook onto the jump ring and onto the ear wire. looks good to me so we're going to cut the, the uh, chain here and 
where's the one that I cut? I know I cut one side. Oh, there it is. The other side. Now I'm going to make an identical chain chain length on the other for the other one. And one of the ways I do that is I get my bead reamer and I stretch them out side by side. Or, easier yet, just hook them through the tip of your bead reamer and let gravity pull them down. So the one we want to cut is this one right here. So then we have our two pieces of chain along with some chain scrap. Now the uh, next thing we want to do is to put these, wrap it around, and we want to cut it in half. And you're going, and you're probably asking me, why are we cutting it in half? We have a, we could just put the jump ring on the top, which we could do, but it may not hang straight that way. So we're going to cut these in half. Now, because I didn't pay attention and I got an even number, I'm going to have to cut two links off. And that's fine. They'll just be a little shorter than they would have been otherwise. There we have our pieces of chain now. We'll set these two over here with this one. And the next step is simply to hook the chain on to our links here. And to do that, we are simply going to open up these piece, the side pieces and slide them on. So we'll just take our pliers open this and then open this because we're going to want it because I've got it bent upwards we're going to want this piece to go onto the very middle portion there so slide her around come on sweetie you know I have you tight right there it's all right there we go and then tighten your links back up Now that side's on, and we'll put the other side on. Like I say, you can bend this up as much as you want, or not at all if you don't want it to bend at all. So now let's get the other side. Do the exact same thing, bend up the wires, and then roll the chain around the links. And then push them back into place. Now we have our two pieces of chain. 
up the sides here. And now we're going to hook on our jump ring and our ear wire. So, put, grab our jump ring, make sure our brake is at the top. Now I have an oval jump ring because the brakes are in the long side and it means the weight distribution is more towards the top and the bottom, so it shouldn't affect this as much. So go through either one of these loops, well I should say both of them, at the very end of your chain, and then your ear wire will go on before you close it. Okay, now we've got this one finished. Isn't that cute? We'll go on to do the second one. So again, we want to start by making the turns in the one side of our wire. So we take the bigger one, roll it downwards till it meets the other side. Bring the smaller one up to where the loop is together, just about, and then bring it over. Then work your pliers back out and close this up a little bit. Because for some reason it always likes to open up. Now that we have that side done, let's get our beads on. Now that they're in there, let's make sure we've got this measured at the three quarters inch that we want here on this end. So we'll cut off about a quarter inch. Well, actually, it's more like a half inch, isn't it? There's because there's the quarter inch mark. So Now we will do our wraps. Now let's see what we've got here. Curve this down a little bit. Curve this down a little bit. And there we have it. Now this is not quite curled around. And we'll get the hammer out and work hard to harden the ends a little bit. Now we need to open the ends up and put our chain on. So let's do that right now. Tighten those back up. Now I noticed this one didn't look like it was very circular, so we're going to see if we can get it to circle back up a little bit more when we bring it in. That's better. There's 
one on. And now we need to put the second one on. It. Put it and put the chain in place. And then put the rings back down. Now we want to bend that wire up some so that it matches how we have the other one bent. So we'll just start bending. Bring this one so that it's down beside it. I think that's probably relatively close. Now we just have to hook our jump, our uh, jump ring and our ear wire on. Again, we open up our oval jump ring so that the break is to the top part. Right there it is with where my fingernails leading into it. Put, open it up with a twisting motion. Drop the chains down so the links are easier to get to. And then put your ear wire on and close it up again. And there we go this with the second earring. And there we, they are. Our earrings are done. So, a little bit tricky with the wire work, but other than that, pretty simple. Um, this one's not quite straight and back in place. There we go. And uh, pretty simplistic if, if uh, like I said, other than that little bit of wire work. And if the wire work gives you problems and you don't want to do it, don't. Just make a simple loop on that side. That's all you have to do. I just like that little extra bit of pretty. So there are our earrings. So here again is our earrings. So, um, cute, simple little earring made with the walk on the beach, uh, Jesse James Bead Strand. So, hope you enjoyed these. This is Rose from In Rose's Garden, working with my December Jesse James Beads Design Ambassador Kit. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.